What is going on guys? It is Parker here and in today's video I'm going to be showing y'all how to recone a subwoofer. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so first off we have a Sundown SA and this is the Rev3 and of course it's a 12 inch. Now I got this from JP over at downforsound.com I did buy it though, he didn't give it to me or anything. But he sent some stuff and we got a little sticker. And of course he sent the invoice and he even wrote, thank you Parker on there. I would imagine he does that for everybody because I don't think he knows who I am, but maybe he does, I don't really know. Sent me a dum-dum and then we got the dust cap. This is of course a sundown uh, recon kit. Let's get a quick look up at it and then we'll get right into it. Now, y'all have been saying you wanted me to get a Sundown for a long time, so when I saw he had this for sale, I figured this was a perfect way to get a Sundown without paying the Sundown price. Uh, this all came out to a little under 150 bucks, whereas this is normally a $230 sub, so I figured since I can make a video of it, it will be totally worth it. So real quick, I'm gonna go over everything we are gonna need to do this. Uh, just some rubbing out alcohol to clean everything and then we got some Loctite epoxy This is the kind that mixes as you squirt it out. And this stuff does dry pretty quickly and Then we went and picked up some E6000 and then of course a rag to clean everything And then we got some little terminals here that we can connect onto the tinsel leads Okay, so the first thing we got to do is of course get all the old uh, debris off here so I just had to peel up the old spider, and then I cleaned this all as best I could, and then I cleaned off this whole area as well. No, I didn't go all the way down to the aluminum. I just really uh, got all the old glue off, and then I made sure all the paint was scuffed up. So first thing we gotta do here is take off these old terminals. So to stick these off, you just wanna stick a little something in the terminal itself to hold it. We're just gonna put these back on for now just so we don't lose track of them but your positive or red is always on your left and your negative is always on the right so next thing we got to do is get the uh, terminals or the little lugs on there now I know they how long they need to be they don't need to be as long as they give them to you so we're gonna cut them just a little bit I already got that one done and then we're gonna roll this and just push it right through the lug, flop this around, and we're just gonna crimp this lug on there. There we go. Don't need to get it super tight because we are going to solder it. But you can see we got both of those right about the same length, and that'll be plenty long for there to be plenty of room, you know, for where they connect to the terminal. We got our solder ready. I'm gonna get a little bit of solder on the end of my solder there. Make sure all that stays nice and hot. Now we're gonna get to the basket. Uh, you wanna definitely make sure you blow it out. I want to make sure there's no junk down in there, so I made sure that was all really, really clean. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to get some of our alcohol, just go around the edges and make sure this is all really, really clean. You can see here we're still pretty dirty. So when we're putting this in, this of course has to be perfectly centered just like that or else it's gonna uh, scrape. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some paper, uh, get the right amount, fold it up and put it in there and that'll put it, keep it centered. Now if you notice, when you get the paper like this and you put it in there, it creates a lip. We don't want a lip, that'll push it off centered. So we're gonna have to cut it a little bit, about there or so. Okay guys, so 13 uh, pieces of paper, or layers of paper, seem to be perfect. So we've, we just sit that on there, 
like so. And there's no play side to side, so that's perfect. So we're gonna pull all that out. Now we're gonna take these and just kind of fold them up under here so they don't get in the way or you know get in the glue or something like that. Okay, so there's several different methods of way to glue this on. Some people just like to glue the bottom, put the spider on, and then glue the top. And some do both at once. I think we're gonna do both at once because I can get to these easy enough from underneath. But there are some frames where you really can't get to these bolts without going from the top. So that's what we're going to do. Should make the whole process just a little bit easier. Now, I'm going to do the top first because this stuff does not dry really quickly. Whereas this epoxy will dry in like five minutes. Okay, so we're going to get this. Pull that back a little bit, break that off, and this just punctures into there and then you twist, and then it starts to come out and mix. I want to get a real nice bead around the edge, and then we're going to try to get another bead kind of in the middle. So now we're just going to get this, we're just going to make sure it's lined up, slide it on there gently, and once it's down and done, it's kind of, you're kind of stuck with it, so make sure it's on there real good. Now we're going to kind of rock it back and forth a little bit just to make sure that all the glue seats nicely. And then inside here, we're just gonna press it down. Now the weight of it should push it into the glue enough for the spider. And yeah, it's sitting in there really, really nicely. And if you have a turntable, this job would be so much easier. Seems to be on there pretty good. Now, if you have a bunch of clamps, you can clamp this. Um, I do not have a bunch of clamps at the moment. So we are just going to be putting this back on. This should be plenty to make sure that it holds it down. pretty good and then I'm gonna get a little bit of extra glue um, around the spider up top all right guys just so we can see in there you want to make sure there's of course a nice glue all around the sides Just like that. The next thing we gotta do is hook up these terminals. Now this is a little bit of a pain, but won't be too big of a deal. Both terminals are hooked up and ready to go. Very excited about that. Now this has been sitting here for a good 30 minutes, so I'm sure the epoxy should be plenty dry. So we're gonna go ahead and pull out the paper, and hopefully there won't be any rubbing. So no rubbing at all, which is perfect. Everything seems really good. So we're gonna go ahead and put on the dust cap. So again, we're gonna use the E6000. Okay, and then we're just gonna try to get this on there just perfect. I'm gonna set it right in there. I'm gonna do a little bit of a turn. I'll just make sure all the glue 
you get any like air pockets out and get all the glue on there just so and from my point of view it looks like it's pretty straight so now I just want to put something with a little bit of weight on it now that tape won't be heavy enough but that will allow me to put something heavier that's flat on top so there we go should be plenty of weight just to make sure it stays on there all right guys it is the next morning went ahead and pulled the gasket off just so we could inspect it and make sure everything looked good to go it all looks pretty good uh, right here I probably could have got a little bit more glue but I can add some other than that it looks good dust cap looks solid and everything just seems good to go so I guess what that means is we gotta throw it in the car and start doing some testing alright guys it is really cold and windy outside so we're gonna be filming from inside the car but went ahead and pulled out the scar I've been testing uh, that white is just where some of the foam and the packaging I don't know like rubbed on it and I, it just doesn't want to come off but yeah got it hooked up I'm gonna do a, just a little bit of free air just to kind of watch the spider and this so we can see if there are any issues or anything like that Alright guys, so it's doing really good. I've just been checking around uh, the basket and the spider just to make sure it's staying glued, but it's been just fine, moving pretty good. So let's crank it up a little bit and just see if we can see this thing move. Right, guys got her all in the box hooked up sounds awesome definitely seems to like this box a lot and it gets pretty loud and everything seems seems to be going good not hearing any scratching noises or rubbing or anything so I think we are good to go well let's get a few clips of it playing Alright guys, well there you go, that is how to recone a subwoofer, and for all the subscribers, hope you're excited about be finally having a sundown, we are going to be reviewing it quite soon, of course. So anyway, yeah guys, thank you all so much. Quick update on the Sequoia, I did order the Pioneer Radio that y'all voted on, it got like 60%, so that should be here in the next few days, so I'll be making a video of that too as soon as it comes in and I can get it hooked up in there. Thank you all so much for voting on that. Anyway, guys, more videos coming soon. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you want me to do. And y'all have a wonderful day. Thank you, guys.